Hi everyone, and welcome back to another installment of our agronomic video series. This week I wanted to touch on calcium availability in the soil. Citrus trees require available calcium, and I wanted to go over what I mean by available. Yes, there are many soil amendments that include calcium, such as lime and gypsum. And while these are common cultural practices, it isn't a solution for increasing available calcium levels in the soil. Looking at the visuals on this slide, we see that in the typical top 12 inches of soil, there's approximately 5,000 to 50,000 pounds of calcium per acre. This is fixed calcium that is not available for plant uptake. Exchangeable calcium is much lower, somewhere between 1,000 and 5,000 pounds an acre, and is found on exchange sites such as clay and organic matter in the soil. Next is soil solution calcium. Like all nutrients, calcium must be in solution for plant uptake. There's about 20 to 100 pounds per acre. So now the concentration of calcium is even lower than originally identified, but not as low as what is around the fertigation zone. The calcium available in the fertigated zone is somewhere between 5 and 30 pounds per acre. Not very much at all, especially while trying to set a large crop. So now I want to discuss soil sampling. Most soil tests, especially in Florida, come back with adequate or even high calcium levels. Soil testing, however, uses weak acids to measure the total fixed, exchangeable, and soil solution calcium, and this creates a false positive. Although you will see high calcium content in a soil test, it does not mean that this calcium is available for uptake through the roots. We recently conducted an experiment using 10 soil samples pulled in the southeast. The results are in the graph in the bottom right corner of this slide. We sent the samples out and received the water-soluble and malic-3 content in pounds per acre. After averaging the samples and dividing the water-soluble calcium by malic-3 calcium, we found that approximately 7% of the calcium found in the soil samples was actually plant available. This chart compares the solubility of one ton of different calcium sources. This is where the water-soluble aspect comes into play. 240 gallons of water per one ton of calcium nitrate is like the fish tank at your doctor's office whereas lime takes about two and a half Olympic swimming pools per ton to dissolve. Tree roots that are constantly stressed do not have time for their calcium source to be unavailable. Here is a visual comparing multiple calcium sources when mixed with water. Even when fully saturated, gypsum and lime do not readily break down, and this can lead to calcium requirements not being met by the crop. Utilizing a source of calcium that is soluble makes life a lot easier for a tree that is already combating physiological stresses, and as a hindered root system. If you would like to learn more about calcium availability in the soil, please feel free to reach out to me at any time, and thank you for watching.